Yeah, I'm feeling myself. Yes, I am feeling myself. Hey guys, so I am here with a really quick hair tutorial and that is how I achieve my feathered bang look. I've been wearing my hair like this for the past month or so and you guys have been asking and requesting for me to do a video showing you how I do it. It's super, super easy and all you need is one product and that is your flat iron. So let's get started into this tutorial. But before we do that, let me just give you guys a few specs on this hair because you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about it as well. If you follow me on Snapchat or on Instagram, then you already know that I have now started doing hair full time again and I am now offering custom wigs. Um, and this is hair that I've been testing out and I have been absolutely loving it. I'm not just saying that because it's my hair, but because you guys have been seeing that this hair holds the most beautiful curl. So you guys have been like, girl, you need to do a video on this hair. You need to let us know what's going on. But I wanted to make sure that I really, really liked it before I shared it with you guys. So this is a U-part wig as usual. I have a semi-deep side part. Um, the texture of this hair is Brazilian. Well, I call it my Brazilian Lux because it is a little bit more on the silkier side, but it's still great for blending your natural hair. Um, I have a total of three bundles in, a 12 inch and two 14 inches. The hair is dyed jet black. It comes in a natural brown. Actually, I have another unit just like it right here. But this is the natural color of the wig, which is like a 1B natural brown. Really pretty. I tried jet black because I've never really worn jet black hair. You guys know I don't really play in color too much. I don't really like color on me, or maybe I just haven't gotten the right color on me. Anyway, so this is the hair in its natural state. Really, really pretty. Really soft and bouncy. Very lightweight. I really like that about this hair. It's very lightweight, but it's full at the same time. And this wig is for sale. I'll leave the link in the description box where you can also book an appointment with me. Um, if you would like to have a custom wig made with your own hair, I'll also provide that link in the description box um, where you can go ahead and place that order. And I also got a few questions if I'm going to be selling this hair by the bundle, and eventually I will, but right now, I'm only offering the hair with custom wig orders. So I believe I covered everything, and I'm gonna jump right into the tutorial. All right, so I already curled most of my hair, and I did regular pin curls with my baby list nano titanium flat iron you can also use a curling iron or a curling wand I just find that the flat iron is a little bit quicker for me um, and for this video I mainly wanted to focus on the bang area because I get a lot of questions about this so I'm starting with about a medium section this is going to be about two curls and the technique of getting that feathered look is curling your hair back so I'm going to split this in half and what I normally do is just kind of comb that straight up, take my flat iron, and I'm just going to curl back. I'm just going to keep rotating the flat iron until I reach the end of my hair. And once I'm done, I'm just going to take a clip and pin it. Doesn't have to be extra neat, you just want to allow your curls to cool down. I'm going to take that last piece and do the exact same thing. I'm going to curl back. And I'm just going to keep rotating my flat iron until I reach the tip. So once I release the hair, I'm going to take my clip and pin it. So typically I let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll finish my makeup, um, get dressed, and then I'll take the curls down. I use absolutely no product on my hair. I like for my hair to be very bouncy and I don't want any products weighing it down. Um, if you do find that your hair doesn't hold a really good curl, I would use a very light hairspray and I would spray that after my curls are done. I also get a lot of questions on how I sleep with this hairstyle and normally I would just re-pin curl it at night with bobby pins 
or you can use rollers, or you can use flexi rods. It's all about what you're comfortable with. Sometimes I'm a little lazy, and I don't do anything but just put a bonnet over it, and then it'll I'll just kind of fluff it out in the morning and then recurl the front. Um, but that's just about it. So I'm going to go ahead and take these down. And excuse the lighting if it's kind of going in and out. I'm literally right in front of my window, and the sun is not on my side today. But it is beautiful outside. I'm so happy that spring is coming. That's like my favorite part of my birthday. I know that the spring is near. So my birthday was on March 5th, by the way. <laughs> okay, now I just take my hands and literally just kind of finger comb it. This is literally my favorite part. Like, do you see that bounce? Do you see the body? <laughs> All right, so now for the bang area, what I normally do is take a wide tooth comb. Any wide tooth comb works just fine. I'm just combing straight to the back. It's almost like you're combing all of the curls out, but this is what's gonna give you that feathered look. Okay. Okay, so now that all of the hair is combed back, what I do is take my fingers and fluff it out like this. Did you catch that? <laughs> Super easy, right? <laughs> I love, love, love these curls. <laughs> super easy, super, super easy. And it's all about your layers as well. I don't have really, really deep layers, but um, my bang area kind of stops around my chin area. So that's how I'm able to get this look. And depending on if you go into a stylist, um, just have them feather it with a razor. That's kind of kind of really going to give you that feather bang look. So that is how I get the bang. I hope it was easy to follow. If you did enjoy it, please thumbs it up. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. <music>